In the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to talk about using the settings.toml file along with CircuitPython to store variables, global settings, and more. So you may be familiar with the settings.toml file. It is a file that can live on your CircuitPython drive, and often it's used to contain your Wi-Fi credentials, SSID and password, uh, and any other internet-based service uh, credentials, username, password, such as you can see my example here, I've got an Adafruit IO username and the Adafruit IO key. Um, but it's not limited to that. You can also use it to store global settings that you want to use in other code. So this is just a simplified example here where you can see my settings.toml file has a variable in here called username and it equals this string got another one, I called it organization, another string. Uh, we can also do floats and integers. Here's a variable called floor and it's this integer value. And now if we look at my code, what I'm going to do is just resave this so it'll rerun. And down in my REPL you'll see when my code launched it said, hey welcome John JP Park, enjoy your stay at Larsco, floor 14. So the way I'm doing this is simply by importing OS. Once you've imported OS, you can use the get env command. So os.getenv and then any of those variable names that lived over in settings.toml. So you can see here was username. I'm getting that with os.getenv username in quotes. Then I'm printing os.getenv organization name. That was Lars Co. Uh, and then I'm actually, just to show that this is really an integer, I'm doing some math here. So I'm saying we're on floor, whatever that environment variable of floor is, plus one. And so that is how you can store settings and credentials and variables inside of your settings.toml file to use with CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.